an average weekday for me is like, you know, going to class in the morning and then coming home after rehearsal, which is like at the end of the day. So that's probably from a span of like 9 a.m. to about 6 p.m. I woke up like an hour and a half before, like, so I had time to get this class, to find a parking spot, go to class, and then come back, whatever. I had two courses before quarantine uh, that were in-person lecture based and it was really um, really small classes for me and I was only on campus three times a week to begin with but it was it was good you just sat down took notes over what the professor says and really like try it and keep those notes for your next test. I don't know it's easier to get the professor's like attention in person you know for just like a 30 second like hey can you explain this just like again but like I don't know. Um, one of my classes it's pretty similar because we have uh, just like in-person zoom stuff he doesn't make us use like have our camera on so like it's a lot less personal and then one of the other classes she just posted uh, her recorded lectures and so there's not really any back and forth at all it's just her going through her slides and explaining which it's like still she, she's a good professor and it's good at like but it's a lot harder to jump yeah, in with a question yeah you, you have to if you, if you have a question you have to email her the ta and like figure out a way for a response you're basically just working off like a google doc or like a, a word doc and you're not really working with people mm-hmm. and talking with them like one to one you're just working over like a camera and so it's kind of hard to um, get that cohesiveness hanging out with friends before quarantine was just like a um, a normal daily activity honestly a lot of times I was like oh I'm too busy or I'm too tired to do that and now I wish I had done that a lot more hanging out with my friends now we hang out over zoom or facetime so we actually played this game on Friday. So what you gotta do is you gotta like pick a, a song for I guess a theme or a question and whoever has the best song wins. So we kind of just make up little things like that and that's how we hang out and have fun. So. Conversation virtually is honestly, it's like watching TV where it's like, you don't feel present. Like you can participate and it's fine, but you don't feel present and it's very easy to leave. I guess it brings a lot more perspective onto just like how, um, how much being in the same room means. Right, like how much being in the same room means and also just like how much we t- took it for granted before, I guess, because like, it was just like, oh yeah, we'll just, like I'll run into you. Or it's like, oh hey, let's go to Ocon's or wherever we go. And a daily thing that we didn't even have to think about now, it's just like, oh, I just want to see someone again. I think people's stress levels are like out of the roof. Um, just from some of my classmates that I talk to, or like if you see memes on Facebook, like the tone has totally changed where people are just like, very wired almost everyone's sleep schedule is awful like they're starting to realize oh no i eat terribly and i'm gonna have to learn how to cook and people are just taking on a lot more than before i think stress levels are going to be lower just because i know sometimes i'm even guilty of this i'm a decent cook but i go home after a long day of school and work and stuff like that and i'm like oh man i don't know what to make i don't want to make something i'm just gonna go and pick up something instead but now this has taught me like You know, if I'm really hungry in the moment, here's things that I can make really fast. And that's like just expanded over quarantine Um, and just like fun hobbies that people are picking up new ways to connect with people. Like I feel like people really miss each other. And I think that's just overall that new connection is going to decrease everyone's stress level. I think I probably will see people um, more and I'll definitely be more intentional about like hanging out with people I don't just see every day because like sometimes, you know, you fall into the like, just seeing people you have classes with or just run, run into on campus at the same times and you kind of fall out of, t- out of touch just a little bit with some people but I feel like a lot of people will be more likely to like reach out and be like hey we haven't talked in a while let's go get lunch or something and it'll probably be good in that regard. I think the past month is going to affect hanging out with our friends is that we're still going to have that sense of trauma. This trauma is unique because it's you can't see it Um, except for like symptoms or sickness. But for a lot of people, we haven't seen somebody infected by coronavirus. And so it kind of exists in this plane of just something that's in our minds. And that's hard to move out because it does, you know, set as a trauma because we've had to change our lives, change our routines and change just every aspect of our lives. And so I think that's one of the hardest things that's going to have to come from uh, once everything starts going back to normal, just getting over that okay, hey, it's okay to say hi to your friends. It's okay to be closer than six feet. Um, It's okay to kind of go out without a mask on. So I think that's kind of some of the things we got to think about. 
I'm Chris Letson. Hi, I'm Paul Lemoines. I'm Hannah Cheeseman. I'm Sterling Allen. I'm a fifth year uh, meteorology major. I'm a graduate student. I am a senior. I'm in my fourth year right now with a fifth year next year. So that's me.